We have just received word that investigators have wrapped up their investigation for tonight. They say it's just too dark out here and there's not much they can do for the rest of the evening. But Stella, <laughs> are you among those? Well, I think the glasses answer the question. Are you one of those diehard Potter fans? I'm not, but I was told to dress up and look at this. My costume is pretty lame compared to the people here. Now, this is round six of Harry Potter mania, and you can definitely feel it in the air. The inside of Elvis Presley's living room, and this is actually where he recorded nine of his songs. Now, the owner of the home tells me what better way to honor Michael Jackson from Republican Meg Whitman's record-breaking spending. It appears the former eBay CEO spent $174 million, $144 million of it out of her own pocket. Police have confirmed that a man was shot to death inside a home behind me. If you take a look there where you see that black SUV, that is where the shooting happened at about 3.30 today. The iPad 2 is already in production. Yeah, the journal says the iPad 2 will have a front-facing camera for video conferencing like Skype. Okay. It's expected to be available both through Verizon and AT&T. I sat down, I talked to Mark Wahlberg, I congratulated him on the fighter, said he, you did an amazing job, and he said he was very, very proud of his work. Williams, who says that he's been on the phones all day trying to make that last minute push. He's been calling residents, tell him to, telling them to go hit the polls and vote for Measure A, but of course we're not going to know the results until after those polls close tonight at 8. Rod Stewart is 65 years old and he's about to be a dad. Get this, for the seventh time Time. The days of cheap holiday plane tickets may be over for now. More people are flying, but fewer seats are available, and that's giving airlines little incentive to cut prices. According to Travelocity.com, domestic airfares are 5% higher this holiday season. The average price is $421 for a round trip. Minor rescued. You could hear the cheers and the clapping. It's been about 11 hours since the first one was rescued. 21 minors, still 2,000 feet, a half a mile underground this morning. Brooke, Chris, it's clear the issue isn't going away, and tonight about 500 people showed up to Palm Springs in opposition to Prop 8. No more hate to be a Prop 8! With signs in their hands, hundreds of protesters walked through Village Fest on East Palm Canyon with a clear message. Gay, straight, black, white. Marriage is a civil right. The rally started at Francis Stevens Park and the police presence was strong. In fact, tensions flared when police asked everyone holding signs with sticks to take them off. I don't understand what you're saying. We can't do that. How come the KKK can the stick and bear crosses and protest in America in the eyes of God? They have crosses. Some were also angered by these three Yes on 8 supporters, one of them 69-year-old Phyllis Burgess. Why do you do this, Phyllis? Go home and pray. The same woman who showed up to last week's Palm Springs protest and was at the center of a chaotic scene when her styrofoam cross was destroyed. We're now on national television and we're not going to have hate flowing from our city. I have an appointment 11 o'clock Monday with the mayor and we're going to be working on this. The people voted and this is the answer right here. The cross came back. They stomped on it. Here it is. It's back. Despite some of the problems, most protesters were peaceful. We're not second class citizens, so we're just like everyone else. We're not asking for anything special. We just want the same rights. The people of California are going to have to come to their senses and realize that this cannot be so. Now, tonight's rally also upset some Village Fest vendors who say although they support no on Prop 8, they did not like protesters marching through their event. They say there's a time and place for everything. Firefighters are working around the clock to knock down the two fires burning right here in Ukaipa. Now, the good news is fire officials say they have made a lot of progress today. Hands off to them. It's, it's remarkable. And firefighters both on the ground and in the air have been busy fighting the Oakland and Pendleton fires burning in steep terrain. When you get up in the hills, it's all hand crew work, so it takes us a lot longer to get containment. The Pendleton fire broke out Tuesday and has now burned 860 acres. The good news is containment is at 70 percent. The Oakland fire burning through 1,012 acres since Sunday is 60 percent contained. Both fires under investigation. This particular area hasn't burned since 1924. That alone tells you there's a lot of old age brush out there that just goes. Now this is where the helitankers are getting their water from. This is a lake here at the Ukaipa Regional Park. The helitankers, depending on what type of helitanker it is, can get anywhere from 500 gallons of water to 3,000 gallons of water at a time. We could see the flames. It was pretty intense.
For the Clemente family, it was too close for comfort when the Pendleton fire broke out last night. All residents in the area told to immediately leave their homes. As soon as I saw the fire come over the ridge, I told my daughters, you know, baby, start packing. And while all mandatory evacuations have been lifted, this Red Cross evacuation center at the Ukaipa Community Center remains open tonight. Now, fire officials say they hope to have the Pendleton fire contained by tomorrow. No word yet on the Oakland fire. In Ukaipa, Stella Inger, KPSP, Local 2 News. Well, the Bob Hope Classic is in full swing, no pun intended. Today is round two of the tournament. Pros, amateurs, and celebs have been practicing all week long, and they'll be playing on four courses in La Quinta. If you want to keep track of the leaderboard, go to our webpage. That's kpsplocal2.com. Just look under top headlines. Be sure to post your pictures while you're out there on the course. There are some big names out there. We want to see those pictures. Okay, music fans, the lineup has been announced for Coachella Fest, and some big names are coming to the Valley. Kanye West, Lauryn Hill, Duran Duran, and Kings of Leon are just some of the acts, but there are many more heading to the Valley. The festival takes place April 15th through the 17th at the Empire Polo Club in Indio. If you want to see the full lineup, go to kpspylocal2.com and look for the story on Coachella Fest. And here is something many of us are curious about, how to live a longer life. Well, our wellness expert, Scott Cole, was in studio on Monday, and he shared some secrets. One woman from France who lived to be 122 used organic olive oil on her skin every day to keep it looking fresh and feeling smooth. In other countries, people use fish oil. You can watch Scott Cole online at kpsblocal2.com. Just click this morning at the top of the page and look for this video. Finally, we want to leave you with something that will make you laugh today. We found a video online of an Irish woman auditioning for a hit show in the UK called Got to Dance. Well, let's just say this woman has some unique moves. Someone actually decided to have fun with this video and added a basketball to her routine. Check it out. You can watch both of these hilarious videos on our Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash kpsplocal2.com. Remember to join the conversation online and through our mobile app. I'm Stella Inger for kpsplocal2.com.